All right, guys, so if you've just checked your valves, you should already have everything apart, head cover off, um, crank locked and top dead center with the uh, tool. So the intake is the most straightforward. So what we're gonna do is you have everything in top dead center. See that red clip in there? That red clip is gonna pull straight up out of there. I couldn't really get it with my fingers. I used some long needle nose, grab it, it's gonna pull up. When that pulls up, then the cam lever on this side will shift to the middle. The cam lever on the other side will shift this way. I only needed to adjust this side, so I was able to take a flathead screwdriver and just nudge that cam lever over. And that's where it gets fun. The KTM manual tells you to do nothing else besides that and then and then remove the shim. The shim obviously is on top of the valve spring right underneath this cam. So I was able to do it, but I would have to take a magnet in this hand and a pick in this hand. I got the shim out. I measured the shim, get the shim size I need, and then I had to put the shim back on the magnet and get it down there on top of the valve spring and then come in with my left hand and hold it with a pick to where I could pull the magnet away and the shim stayed right down there on top. So it's right underneath there. So um, it was like performing heart surgery, but it did work. So after you do that, and then you take a, a screwdriver or something and move your cam lever that you moved, to, you moved it to the right. You can move that back. Now I did have, a, it was a, I had a little issue with that. I had to kind of wiggle it. I had to put a screwdriver in and kind of work the, the front side of it, work the back, and I did get it back over where it needed to be. Um, after that, then you can just put your red clip back in and you're done with intakes. Super easy. Uh, with exhaust, it's a little bit different. So with exhaust, you want to take the tool back out, unlock the crank, rotate the crank a few times, and then you're going to rotate the crank until you see the decomp button. You're going to try to get it like right above this rocker arm right here. Then you want to take out both of these bolts, the bolt going through the rocker arm and the bolt above the rocker arm. The bolt above is going to allow you to slide out the rock, rocker arm shaft. You're going to do that by sticking a 6 millimeter bolt through this hole. It will thread into that rocker arm shaft. You need a pretty long bolt, so I just used a piece of uh, M6 all thread I had laying around. Um, once you have these bolts out and you're threaded into the rocker arm, you'll be able to just nudge it and pull it and sometimes you have to take the 13 and turn the motor over to take a little of that decomp pressure off the rocker arm because it just wants to settle up against it so you're going to take that pressure off and that rocker arm is going to slide out it's not going to slide out all the way it's just going to come back far enough to let you take the rocker arm shaft is just going to come towards the camera far enough to let you take the rocker arm out you're going to pull the rocker arm out and then it's pretty easy. Um, you'll be able to easily access your two shims. One's under, you know, one's under this plastic piece over here. One's right there. They are uh, still a little trickier to get to than other bikes because you do have a cam. Uh, you know, you do have a counterbalancer over top of them. Is what you, more or less. So uh, you can get them in and out of there. You're gonna need a magnet and a pick. Makes the job way easier. I would not even try this job without a magnet. You're gonna uh, take your shims out, replace your shims, and then you're gonna put your rocker arm back in. You're gonna put these two bolts back in. You're gonna slide your rocker arm shaft, or you're gonna slide your rocker arm shaft in first, then put your two bolts in, tighten everything down, and you're good to go. So uh, it's not it's not hard. It's just a little tedious, uh, you know little tedious hand tool work so what you want to do is make sure you have a magnet be careful you don't want to drop anything down in there it's going to be a bad day so hope this helps somebody and uh yeah make sure you guys subscribe see you in the next one